Hello everyone, I'm CNN meteorologist Tom Seda. I want to bring you the very latest and an update on the tropical activity that we're starting to see and have seen the last 24 to 48 hours in the West Pacific. There's never really an off season for the West Pacific tropical systems. There are quieter times and the last several weeks have been quiet. However, for the month of December, the Philippines is no stranger to some of the stronger storms, and we'll run through some of those for you. We are watching Rye, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, named for this system, which has been a tropical storm for a good over 24 hours now, and it's on the cusp of becoming a typhoon. Now, if you look at the core system of this, it looked larger on satellite yesterday, but there is still a pretty good outflow pattern. The cloud cover on the western flank starting to reach now the coastlines of the provinces of the central Philippines, mainly from around Mindanao to the south up towards southern Samar province, which could have some pretty strong winds. We're only about 10 kilometers away in sustained winds from this becoming a typhoon, so most likely in the hours ahead it will be. But how much stronger will it get? Looking at the path, it seems in the last 24 hours the track is speeding up. Still looking at a landfall equivalent now to a strong Category 2 hurricane, possibly with the warm waters off the coast, uh, you know, could get up to Category 3 strength, but it pushes it in on Thursday afternoon. Uh, may, maybe even stalling till early evening, but afternoon seems to be a pretty good bet and then slides across all of the central Philippines, across the central Visayas region, but we do have some concern. Obviously, we'll be looking at a storm surge, maybe two to three meters. There are warnings called signal levels are already out in a few coastal areas, but the wind profile means a serious threat. Uh, we have seen, of course, in the past, not just damage from objects being uh, strewn about, but of course, power outages. And with heavy rain on the mountain terrain in northern Mindanao, this could be a problem, but also Cebu, a highly populated uh, city uh, in the central province. This could move right over them with well over 100 kilometer per hour winds. And then as it exits, we'll be looking forward to hopefully losing some strength before heading toward maybe northern Vietnam or southern China. If you look at the swath of rainfall, this is a concern not only for the high terrain in northern Mindanao, but for all of the villages along this area. So there will be several landfalls with this. Again, the first most likely Thursday afternoon. Heavier rainfall, again, in that area, we do not want it. So a threat for landslides will be the, with this region as well. But as I mentioned earlier, you know, December uh, has really given us in history some significant and catastrophic typhoons, you know, Awashi, uh, Bropa, Hagabit, and then just six years ago, Nocton, which made several landfalls kind of making its way through all the provinces. Now, what we've had so far is about six tropical storms to make landfall all but one really uh, were tropical storms we did have a typhoon but on average it's eight to nine the most they've ever had 19 in the, in the lowest four so they're they're right about average or just below that so that is at least some good news but this does pose a threat we'll continue to watch it intensify and continue to watch those warnings and we'll pass those uh, warnings and information on to you as well